All right, folks, it is 7 a.m. my time, 4 a.m. out here in California. I'm going to head to the truck wash, get the trailer washed out, and while I'm there, I'm going to get the truck and trailer washed. Yep, yep, this trailer I grabbed looked like somebody been through some snow with it, too. It's all... The whole side of the trailer is brown and dirty from the stuff coming up off the road. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get my truck trailer washed. Get the trailer washed out. It's 30-something, uh, 30 32 miles up here to where I'm going. So, yeah. Let's go, let's go. You can see there's a lot of trucks parked here. I mean, there's truck stops. You got the one, there's 32 miles up. Then you over there, Hesperia. You got the pilot there, which that's probably where I'm end up at. Because that's where I like to stay there in Hesperia. I don't like staying in Barstow. But at any rate. Right on Innovation Way. Yeah. Right there's the GE Aviation, where they do all the work on the planes. Yep, yep. They ain't got no planes out there right now. But anyhow, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I hadn't done nothing to my phone, but yet you got a clear picture today. Yesterday, when I was in all that snow and shit, it was dark. You couldn't hardly see nothing. I just, <laughs> I don't get it. Oh yeah, my bright lights are working again too. Imagine that. Oh well. It is what it is. It's all good. I mean, I got the video out there. They turn right on Phantom West. I didn't have no short to go out yesterday. I normally put a short that goes with every video, but I didn't have one for yesterday. So yeah. At the end of the street. Just a regular video. Left. But it was pretty long. Like an hour and something. But yeah, look over here, folks. You can see Victorville, the city over there. All the lights. Yep, yep. Turn left at the traffic light. That's right. So let's go. Got a green light. Oh, hell. The street I got to turn on up here is called uh, D Street. It says turn north on D Street. <laughs> D. Just the letter D. Uh, my mind went somewhere else when it said that. <laughs>
it's so crazy out here how I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing for miles. You can't see nothing for miles. Just open road. But yet, I can't do with 55 miles an hour. Granted, I'm the only one out here doing 55. Everybody else, they, they're blowing by me, which I, I ain't really doing 55. I'm doing like 58. But still, everybody's flying by me like I'm sitting still, even other drivers. You know, but I just don't I don't understand where they <coughs> they come up with this shit. At 55, this truck could cause just as much damage at 55 as it would at 70. There ain't no difference. If that's the reason why they done it, I don't know. But I do know, you're three miles from the truck wash. Three miles, folks, three miles. And hopefully, I, I'm a little late getting up here. Normally, I try to get up here about three o'clock in the morning. Between two and three, I try to come up to this truck wash because it's a busy truck wash. So, yeah, I try to come up here between. Even at two or three o'clock in the morning, I've been up here and had to wait to get in line, to get in and get washed. But. Yeah, it is what it is. It's a blue beacon, and uh, I got to get it done. Anyway, at any rate, I got to get it done. So, <sighs> drink my Red Bull, and then go up here and get her done. And you can see that's Barstow, folks. I'm sorry about the shaky phone, but yeah, that's Barstow. Looks pretty cool in the lights. Yep, yep. But yeah, we are two miles from the exit. Two miles. All right, folks, here we are at the exit. It says strong winds. Use caution. Oh, great. Strong winds, of course. We're down in the valley here. There's always going to be strong winds. But at any rate, yeah. Take exit 178. We got right, next in here. To Lenwood Road. There's a TA over there. You got a TA here. You got a pilot here. You got a flying J here. I don't think Love just made it here yet. I don't think they got room to put another truck stop here. One half mile. If there was room, if they had room to put, put one, on I bet way. you Love's would be here too. But they ain't got no room. But at any rate, all right, now we go straight across here to the truck wash. Yep, yep, straight across to the truck wash. And right, there's the Flying J on the left, but the truck wash should be up here on the right. So y'all, cross your fingers, hope for the best. Expect the worst. And see this place here. Arriving at Blue Beacon Truck Wash. On Once you go in here, you're in here. The hell! I have seen people. I have seen. I be a damn. There ain't nobody in here. What? What? All three bays are empty. What a deal. Well, I couldn't get that lucky again if I tried. I damn sure didn't expect that. No, sir. I was not expecting that. But yes, sir. I'm not going to complain. That's for sure. So we're going to get on in here and get everything done and get it done pretty quick, evidently. Yep, yep.
So let's see when you come around the corner here, which bay they want me to go in. And you ain't got a bunch of room to play with at this fucking truck wash. Oh, they want me a bay one, okay. The guy's already standing out there. So let's go. Let's get her done. Alright, folks. We're fixing to go in. You gotta wait on them to open the doors first. <clears throat> yeah, they only got three guys working. You can tell they were slow last night. Normally they'd be full. Yep, yep. Is he gonna open the doors or what? Yeah, open says me. going in let's go let's go folks all right there it is folks in the bay being washed they're doing the wash out and everything else yep yep yeah i started something there's nobody here when i got here now there's one behind me and then that one there pulling in so yeah they getting busy now yeah folks look at it you can't really see much but yeah they get your gun. I like this truck wash here. They always do a good job. All right, all right, all right. They done the final rinse. Now it's time to get on up out of here. So let's go, let's go. Here we go. Yep, yep. Yeah, see here, they'll come out here and dry your truck off. They, they, uh, they do all kinds of shit here. They got this wax that they'll put, that you pay extra for, but they, uh, they'll wax your whole truck too. But you pay extra for that. See the wax, the, the blue coral wax treatment is $45. The hand dry is $28. So yeah, tire dressing is uh, $13. So yeah, they do quite a bit of stuff here. So I'm gonna blow dry my truck. Yep, yep. So let's get on out of here and get it. On the road, I'm gonna head up to Hesperia. That's where I like to stay at, is up in Hesperia. So I'm gonna head on up there. By the time I get there, it'll be good and dry. So, yep, yep. Then that's where I'll stay at until tomorrow. Or maybe today. I don't know. I mean, he might call me and be like, I need you to go load today if you can if he calls me to go load today guess what I'm doing I'm going to load today I'd much rather go load than sit around and twiddle my thumbs <coughs> but don't know folks don't know what's going to happen 
right now it's still only 5 15 in the morning here so yeah ain't nothing happening right now okay 15 north no i got to go south yeah about to mess up. I got to go south. Uh -huh. I think. Let's see here. Well, a little late now if I'm going the wrong way. Because mm -hmm. I'm already getting on the highway but I think I'm going the right way. Let's see his area. second-guessing myself. I've been out here so much I know where I'm at, but I'm still second-guessing myself. Uh, but at any rate, yeah, get my crew set on 58. And just sit back and chill. Got 36 miles to go, folks. 36 miles to get to the truck stop. So, yep, yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Bear Valley Road. Yep, yep. Bear Valley Road, huh? Never paid that no attention before. Oh, uh, yeah. Get it, folks. I just went in and done stabilization. I found the settings on my video and uh, stabilized it, so now it should shouldn't be so shaky now. And well, yeah, of course, I can't do nothing about the bumps being shaky, but you know, as far as the standard record, it should be stabilized. But yeah, when I hit the bumps, it's going to shake regardless. But anyhow, all the time I've been doing this, I didn't know I could go in there into the settings and change the settings on my record. Just like now, it, it's showing a full screen. Before it's just a little screen. Now I got it on full screen. So I don't know if that's going to change how it comes out on that end or not. I mean, it's the first time I'm doing it, so I'll see whenever I upload it if it changes anything. But as of right now, yeah. It is looking pretty good. We got five miles to go. Five miles to go. Yeah. You know, as bad as this state is with all these crazy laws and everything else that they got going on you think especially with the highest you know i think they're the highest for road taxes and everything else you know state taxes road tax everything's highest out here in california than anywhere you would think that their roads would be a lot better than what they are i mean they they some spots coming up through here i i'll have flashbacks of, of jackson my God, what is going on with these roads? But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they are. I don't know what they, that, they've been doing that since I've been running out here for the last four years. That, uh, Snyder, that, yeah, that Jersey Wall has been there since I've been running out here. I hadn't seen nobody doing no work, so I don't know. I don't know how long uh, or what what that's all about. But there on the left, that Jersey wall there with the Snyder barrels. I don't know if they got that there just as a trap for, you know, oh, it's a construction zone and you was beaten. Because some places do that, so I don't know. I don't know, folks. I don't know, but we're two miles from exit, two miles. Boy, oh boy, I done got behind Grandpa Jones here. Something doing 50 miles an hour up through here. His last mile is taking forever. Jesus. I know he just had a state trooper go past us, but he wasn't paying us no attention. He was flying. There ain't no reason for you to slow down to 50 miles an hour. But, yeah, here's our exit, folks. Here's our exit. So, yeah. Turn right at the stop sign. I'm out of then traffic now. First right. So let's get off here and uh, find us a parking spot. Yep, yep. And right here is the place I was at. Whenever we got that uh bunch of snow that one year I was out here and there was a bunch of snow yeah right here's where I was at turn right I mean it was worse than the shit I was in yesterday but yeah all right all right arriving at pilot flying J on the right yep I have arrived now, where am I going to park? That is the question. So, yeah, let's find us a parking spot. Normally, I would park like right there, but you see. Uh, 
I don't think I can get in right there. Right here's the spot. No, there's a truck back up in there. What about right here? That truck's back up in here. No, right here. That's the work. Yep, yep. This will work, folks. Post Cafe right there, they got some good food in there, but they are expensive. Yeah, buddy. But I've ate there a couple times. Every once in a while I do splurge on myself. So yeah, I have eaten there a couple times. But yeah. They got like a big rig special and steak and eggs and all that shit but it comes out like 20 something dollars you know with just a little eight ounce steak and two eggs and what have you I mean yeah they proud of their steak and eggs here yep yep alright I'm in the hole folks that's probably going to be the end of this video unless something else happens. So, yeah, I know it's a short one, but it's still a video. So, y'all could like, subscribe. Y'all know all the, the, the stuff you're supposed to do. And again, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. TTBE.